Here we have a flexible magnet. This is pretty typical for most fridge magnets. It's got a printed side with some graphics on it, placed on a flexible magnet. It's not super strong, but it'll stick to a steel surface pretty well. If you flip it over and look a little closer at it, we can take this magnetic viewing film and see the magnetization. You see a series of lines there, which shows it alternating between north and south poles in long stripes. This is what helps makes it strong and also helps it stay magnetized. Now, if I take a strong neodymium magnet, like this 5 8 inch cylinder, and rub it all across the surface of this magnet, I'll ruin it. What this is doing is exposing the flexible magnet to all one pole. So it'll all kind of look like a North Pole. All those fancy stripes will be gone. Take our viewing film, set it on top, and we don't see very much. It's kind of a mess. stick it on this piece of steel doesn't work very well. How can we remagnetize it? We take this array of ring magnets we stuck onto a screw and we've assembled them so that they're repelling one another. So they were kind of hard to assemble because they were all repelling and trying to shoot off the end of it. This makes the strong fields you need on the edge, and we simply roll it across our flexible magnet. It just takes one roll, and you can see we're back where we started. And you can do this in any direction. We roll part of it this way. See part of it's magnetized in that direction.